I have been, in fact, what I wanted to talk, everything has already been said. Everything has already been said. So I thought that probably I need to uh, I make a realization by making you all understand the practical applications of how the gender, gender stereotyping can limit a feminine force. Before that, uh, just let me talk from Akhanda Sutra. There is a system of literature called Akhanda Sutra, which is a combination of Upanishads, Vedas, which says that the nature, the srishti, the core of the universe is made up of a shakta, the inert force, which is around 38.196% and shakti, which is the dynamic force. The percentage that constitutes the dynamic force is 61.8034. When nature itself has designed that a shakti is on a larger sphere, what makes us think that we are less in number? What makes us think that we are low? What makes us think still we need more empowerment when we are already empowered and given by mother nature, by nature stating that you are standing at 61.8% is what your share of creation or nature holds on. What makes us say so? Maybe that I take it to uh, Professor, I continue probably with Professor Pankaj Mitralji, who was talking about the gender stereotyping. We are so hardwired at a subconscious level since generations, since generations that, that we don't even realize that many of the things what we work is gender stereotype. Let us say, take the case of this. You know, I'm a tall person. Since morning you have been seeing many people were not visible. You know, so this, this podium is set up to an average man's height. You understand how the gender, gender stereotyping takes place? It is set up to an average man's side. Because I'm tall, I'm able to see you all. But since morning, we've been talking so much about the visibility, right? So we are so hardwired. Let it be the design of your workplace. Let it be the mindset. We also agree to that. There is a very interesting experiment that's been taken up in some of the universities. They said that this was a small story, a riddle, which was posed to the students wherein they have asked that a father and his son were going in a car and they met with a crash and the father died on the spot. The son was rushed to the hospital, son was rushed to the hospital and surgeon was called for to operate upon the boy. The surgeon saw the boy and said, sorry, I cannot do because he's my son. When this question was asked, then how can it be? Because father has already died. How can she be, she, uh, he be her son? Because we start thinking surgeon can only be a man. And the surgeon was the boy's mother. Very few could answer, even doctors, kids could not answer. They said that, they have given, they have given variations. They said that maybe uh, the guy who was traveling is probably his name was father. Or maybe he was a church father. You know, all these reasons were coming in, but they could never narrate that the mother can be a surgeon. We are so hardwired, as ma'am was mentioning, when we take up some names, when we say a scientist, we, co we, we, we correlate that particular profession to a thing. We correlate parenting or mothering or we correlate the child rearing to a female. We are so hardwired. So as per me, I feel that the problems or the challenges what a woman faces is not from outside. Maybe it is from outside, but honestly, trust me, the problem is more from inside. The problem is more from inside because of various reasons. It could be gender stereotyping, as ma'am was mentioning. Let me not repeat it once again. Or maybe it could be because of an imposter syndrome. In psychology, we call it an imposter syndrome, wherein even the achievements made by the females, they are not very comfortable thinking that they were responsible for that achievement. I can give you a reason for this. Females generally don't go and ask for a, uh, for a hike in their jobs. They are very hesitant. Because a female who's asking for a hike or for a promotion thinks that, they think that the lady is so aggressive because ladies are supposed to be very soft. Most of the problems what we face in life, most of the problems as women what we face in life, they all come from the very, very hardwired stereotypes that we have already developed. So now the question goes like, what do we do? How do we do? And why is that we should be doing? As, as I mentioned already, the nature itself constitutes 61% of the dynamic force, which is the Shakti. 
and we all have an opportunity we all have an opportunity to to go beyond like pain is inevitable but suffering is your choice i'll give you my own example everybody were called on the dais i was sitting there i was also speaker i wasn't called on to the dais i could have as well sat there right or oh, let me call because i am supposed to talk i'm still sitting here since morning to talk so i said no i have to come and talk right so nature gives you opportunities nature gives you opportunities but considering your gender considering your inhibitions of stereotypes what the culture you have been brought in and what you are hardwired with you start restricting yourself to what you are and say the society has a problem so tell me where is the problem where are the limits we limit ourselves we restrict ourselves we do ourselves we draw a line to ourselves and we start saying because the way you look at things the things change i think all of us has the beauty of this this creation the beauty of this creation is we all have a great opportunity to live a life which is much larger than your name your profile your position your tag you know your daughter of so and so husband or wife of so and so you know i mean these are not very limited as per me i think we all have a great potential we all have a great opportunity to live a life which is much much beyond than what you are and i think that is why we are all here we have taken birth only because of that and i think if we don't do it i mean i feel that we don't have right to blame anything else the inner environment inner us has to change then we can change the outer environment that is my that's been my strongest belief and that is the way we need to move ahead in life so with this i conclude my talk so we all have a potential let us again i let me reiterate four things pain is inevitable but suffering is your choice problems come you can't stop the problems but the way you respond to the problems the way you look at the problems they change the problem disappears from somewhere and second the limiting beliefs what you have within you that this is not good that is good you know this is not that we always want to blame because we are stereotyped from inside so rather than looking at that let us see what is that we can do to bring in a change because we have been into a patriarchal society for so many generations so we don't expect that the things would change just like that unless we change things don't change because change is not something very different change is very much you you need to change for the things to change you need to change for the environment to change and next thing is it's so important that all of you don't think any time low about yourself you are never you are never less please understand you are 61 point so and so percentage of the nature which is a very huge dynamic force you are never ever less if you think you are less trust me you are missing out a very beautiful opportunity of living on this planet